For the integration of gray key and Axiom to be successful, we have to start by doing a one-time setup within Axiom. Within Axiom, Axiom process, you're going to go over to Tools and down to Settings. Once the box opens, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and we are going to click on the product integration between gray key or ver key and then once you click on that it's going to give you some additional options you can specify a, a specific port for the gray key or ver key to talk to your axiom box and then you need to give a folder name where you would like the image to be dumped in this case i just put uh, gray key or ver key images created a folder with that name right at the root of c you also need to create a location for your case files. Again, I created a folder called case files right at the root of C. Once you've created those two, you can click start service. And this is going to allow the connection to work between the two. And then you have the open dashboard. And the open dashboard link will allow you to see the integration between Axiom, Process, and Verikey. This will populate as the image is brought from one device to the other. We're now going to place a device on our gray key to be exploited. We're going to give it an evidence ID. In this case, I'm just going to name it Send to Axiom. With this, you have the choice of either doing a logical, offline, or initial access. We're going to do initial access. Once you click this, you have the option right here to send automatically to Axiom. We're going to go ahead and check this box. And then you have to choose the device that you're going to send it to in case you have multiple devices on the same network. In this case, we only have one. We've chosen the computer that we're going to send it to over the port that we have specified earlier during the setup within Axiom. After we see the extraction to full file system begin, we can switch over to that dashboard that we had opened within Axiom settings. And here you can see the image name, the image type, the gray key address, the start date for the extraction, and that we're in the process of downloading. Once this download is finished, it will automatically open within Axiom. One of the great things to also see is the estimated time remaining. So gray key will give you the approximate time remaining within this download. By clicking on this in progress bar within Axiom, you can also get to the Axiom process and gray key, ver key integration status dashboard. Once the phone has been completely extracted by the gray key, it will send that information directly over to Axiom. If you go back over to your dashboard, you can see that the phone is still being sent and downloaded onto the computer. When this download is complete, Axiom will automatically open and begin processing the image. Axiom will open your processed image and you'll see both the keychain plist brought over for the iPhone that we're examining, as well as the full file system. Now, if you're examining an Android phone, it's going to bring over that extraction, as well as the key store. From here, we can also look at our integration dashboard. And in our integration dashboard, we now see the addition of a completed date and that it was successfully sent from the gray key device into the computer that we had specified and opened with an axiom. With that, thank you for listening, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at Magnet Forensics.